Going to your local polling station may seem like a chore and is a right that many may take for granted. But how would you feel if one crime, one bad decision, meant that you couldn't vote for the rest of your life? This was the reality for convicted felons in California in Richardson v. Ramirez. In 1972, Ramirez was a convicted felon but had served his time and completed his parole. When he tried to register to vote in California, he was refused by the county clerk due to his prior conviction. Article 2 and Article 20, Section 11 of the California Constitution denied felons, including those who had served their time and completed parole, the right to vote. Ramirez and two others, on behalf of themselves and similarly situated individuals, filed a petition for a writ of mandate against three county clerks as representatives of all California county clerks and registrars of voters in the California Supreme Court. Ramirez argued that the felon's disenfranchisement violated the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The California Supreme Court agreed. The three county clerks didn't contest and agreed to register all ex-felons in their counties. However, Viola Richardson, a fourth county clerk, appealed to the United States Supreme Court.